I'm so excited. I just learned a trick to determine whether or not a leaf spot or infection on your plant is bacterial or fungal. Now, this is really important to know because when you're treating your orchid or any plant for that matter, you need to diagnose properly what you're fighting. And if you're like if you've got a bacterial infection and you're treating with fungicides, it's not going to work. Um, so, and vice versa, if you're, well, anyway, so, um, this obviously is not an orchid, but it will help me show you, demonstrate the effect. This is my cute little African violet that I inherited, I guess. So, the way that you tell, first off, you, you're going to need to take a sample of that leaf spot. So you want to get your scissors or razor blade, whatever you use. Oops, get a torch. By the way, I don't see anybody on YouTube using torches and you really, really should. These things are not scary. I mean, they are intimidating at first, but like they're super simple. You can adjust the flame. This one, I would not recommend this one. It's the, um, the igniter in here stopped working after about a six months I think it's crap so I have to always use a candle or a lighter to light to light, actually light it so you're gonna want to flame your uh, your cutting tools lo a lot longer than this okay I'm just this is just demonstration I'll do a different video about how to properly sanitize cutting tools later but I do want to emphasize that you need to have sterile sterile tools make sure the handles are clean make sure your hands are clean so, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to find a stickly looking leaf or um, whatever. You know what I mean. So, you take your stick leaf, you, okay, here's one. I know this isn't really infected with anything, it's just dying, but you will cut through the middle of the spot. Okay, so you will cut through where it looks nastiest. Then you will take that leaf, put the uh, the cut edge into the water, and you see how there's nothing coming out of there? That's because this leaf does not have a bacterial infection. Whoops. If it did, it would look more like this. Now, plants do have a little bit of sap, and like if you squeeze it, you'll see a little bit of cloudy oh. stuff coming out. Excuse me, cloudy stuff coming out. Lay down. If you have a bacterial infection, you'll get an effect quite a bit like this. You will have stuff coming out quickly, dropping to the bottom. It will be cloudy, like I am using this food coloring to demonstrate here. And this is not working that well, but... That's the kind of effect that you'll see. And if you're not sure, then go ahead and cut off a healthy leaf and see how that looks when you put it in the water. Because, like, if you do take it, I did it with an orchid leaf yesterday, and I put it in the water, and I saw a little bit of stuff coming out, and I'm like, ooh, it must be bacterial, and I got all excited. And then I went and cut through a healthy leaf, and I got the same effect, and I was like, oh, no, that's not a bacterial infection. So I had to go back. So if you're not sure, just for comparison, cut your sick leaf and cut a healthy leaf and see and see what it looks like. Now, if you do have a bacterial infection, there are several things that uh, can help with that. There are not a lot of chemistries that will that are effective against bacteria. Most of them, I don't think there's any systemic ones that will that will affect bacteria, but topically, okay, so what you want to do, let me rewind a little bit here. If you have a bacterial infection, okay, say this is this little spot right there. That's just a hole, but say that's a nasty, mushy, mushy spot. I am going to re re-sterilize my cutting tools between every cut that I make. Sometimes you do have to make multiple cuts to get into places, so once again, I'm going to Lame my tools so I prevent spreading infection into any other parts of the leaf. Oh, and also, if you've got hot tools, when you cut through that, 
you're kind of cauterizing the wound that you make if you've got a hot, sizzly, sizzling cutting edge. So that's another reason you guys should be using a torch. Um, I think the cheapest kind, back to that, I think the cheapest kind are like $15. They're in the blue propane, I don't know, it says propane and they're kind of tall. They're maybe like a little bigger than this. They're about $15. This little thing was 60 Piece of crap. So get the cheap one. And a professional grower said use map gas. That's even hotter. That is really hot. You can flame your tools in about two seconds if you use map gas because it is so hot. But if you're intimidated by torches, you can get a little one in like a hardware store or a chef um, cooking tools like Bed Bath & Beyond has little creme brulee torches for about 20-30 bucks. So if you are intimidated, and I was when I started, but if you are intimidated, just get a little one. It's it's going to be okay. And use your safety glasses too. I'm wearing those, but you can't see the video. Anyway, okay, so this is my spot. I'm going to cut back a quarter to a half an inch behind the spot into healthy tissue. And I don't know if you could hear that sizzling, but when you get that, that's going to that's going to sterilize that edge. Any bacteria that are on the outside of the plant are not going to get pushed in there when you cut into it. Um, preferably, I guess the prefer the best thing to do would be to spray it before you even do that. If you if you don't have a torch, spray it with disinfectant before you go cutting into things, so you don't push any out outside organisms into the tissue. Um, okay, so a couple of things that are good for bacteria. I've seen a lot, a lot of people on YouTube using hydrogen peroxide and having good luck with that. I don't know how effective it really, really is, and it's definitely not going to be systemic. Like, if you don't cut those spots out, it's not going to do any good. But this little bottle, this is awesome because it was $2, which, like, spray bottles are $2 anyway, so, I mean, it's little, but... I didn't have to buy a new spray bottle. And um, another thing is that is commonly used is Fizan, and this says it's a algicide, bactericide, fungicide, and viricide. This is not a magical cure-all product, guys, so don't think that, but it is good for, uh, you know, um, I don't even think I sterilize cutting tools in it. I don't think people do, because I don't think it can totally inactivate virus. If it can, I'm gonna do more research, but if it can, it would be nice, because it's not really corrosive. Um, but, um, that is, uh, it's, it's a nice thing, it's a nice protectant, like if you've got a bacterial infection on one plant or a fungal infection on a plant and you want to spray the things that are around it to help prevent infections getting into them, this is a kind of good thing. This, and this is actually more toxic than some of the serious fungicides that you have, so just be careful with this. It smells nice and it's like, it seems harmless, but it is a little, a little more toxic, so... Mm -hmm. Be careful, spray it outside, wear protective clothing, all that. Read, read the freaking label. <laughs> okay, so um, I hope that is helpful to people. I've not seen anything like this ever before in my life about how to tell between fungal and bacterias. So that is just the most amazing thing, it's the most amazing trick I've ever learned, probably ever, in pl growing plants. So, um, stoked about that. Wanted to share that with everybody. And, uh, oh yeah, because you can't tell, you can't tell just by looking whether you've got a bacterial or a fungal infection. Like, you, um, you've got Irwinia or, uh, Irwinia and Pseudomonas and, um, that are bacteria that look like, that look like black rot. But black rot is a fungal-like pathogen, so... You can't tell just when your orchid is getting soft and mushy if it's um, if it's a bacteria or a fungus. And also, some leaf spots are bacterial. Like, Dendrobium nobili is really um, prone to getting little translucent spots that show up, and then the next day they'll be black, and they just pop up, like, overnight, and then they blacken the next day. That's a Cinevorax. Um, that's a bacterial thing, so... It's good to know, even with the little leaf spot, you can stick it in the water and it'll it'll goo ooze out. So 
Um, hope that's good for everybody. Hope you learned something. Come back next time and I'll have more information for you.